Hello, there is Fimpossible Creations and in this tutorial I will show you how you can make model from chip package move more realistically. It will be model of crocodile. We will have simple movement controller which will move like this and we will transform it into something like this. And we will do it pretty quick. This model can be found in Jumpex Animal Pack Deluxe Asset, which gives you a lot of fun stuff with very low price. We will also use free ground fitter for basic movement and spine animator for the rest. Like always we have set it up ground fitter movement, so I can move with WSAD keys and object is fitting to ground and capsule will be replaced with our crocodile model. Of course your setup can be different, it's just my basic approach for the tutorial. I drag and drop crocodile to the scene, then drag it into movement object and reset position. For this tutorial we will only need idle, walk and run animation clips, so I will change animator a bit. And as always, I will add animation speed parameter, apply as animation multiplayer speed for the movement animation clips. This parameter is animated through code by Grand Fitter to change speed of animations when creature is accelerating or decelerating. Now I will set up spine animator and in this case we don't have much to do. Component is automatically finding bones for spine chain. To our choice is just if we want to use chest, neck or head bone as leading bone. I will leave ones which was detected automatically. Now let's set up just traditional limitations for the rotation angles. If you don't know what's going on here, you can check other tutorials where I describe it more. And there I will do important thing, changing pivot offset to be in leading bone position. So in neck position. It moves like this. And I feel that there is something wrong. It's lacking something. I will adjust animation clip speed. It seems there are used position keyframes, which is pretty rare, but useful for animators. We can enable them back inside tuning tab. Let's check what will happen if I untoggle positions not animated option. Yeah, and now it looks right. In most cases, position frames aren't used, then if you untoggle positions not animated option, it would create glitches but in our case we should untoggle this. So our spine is moving right, let's move on to the tail. Setting tail with spine animator is a bit tricky and not always can work, but in future versions I will make it easier. Anyway I recommend using my other package tail animator for the tails, but in this tutorial we will make it with spine animator. So I add spine animator, to second bone assign last bone in a chain. Our leading bone in this situation will be first bone in chain. To make this tail work, we need to change anchor to be the pelvis bone. Also we need to queue this component to be updated after spine animator which is affecting spine. Tail is child of spine so it should be updated after movement of spine. Just write execution order. And with this setup, Crocodile moves like this. So it looks much more realistic. You could also enable collision on the tail, so when it touched terrain or body of the crocodile, it would be physically pushed. Also we should tweak angle limiting for the tail, so crocodile will not be able to clip through the tail, even without collision set it up. There is one more thing we can do. We can use pelvis bone as start bone for the tail. So we move spine animator here, as start bone we assign pelvis, then last tail bone. Now first tail bone will have more follow motion. It's similar to root to parent from tail animator. But now you see there's something wrong. 
we have to untoggle positions not animated for first bone, that means for the pelvis. Then it moves like this. And that's how we made this. Very reptile movement. It's making right motion when we move to the left or right, and also when we move up or down. And it's fully cooperating with the source animations. So this is the end of the tutorial. I hope you like it. Leave a like if you enjoyed this or you learned something. Subscribe for more. Hit the bell for notifications about new videos. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.